All right. So, yeah, this is a really good poster I found that, uh, um, based on some of the feedback that we had at some of the previous meetings uh, um, about geology and just a good overview of uh, visually of, of what's going on. Um, a lot of the posters have have a lot of verbiage on them. I'm a visual person, so. And uh, once again, my name is Paul Paul Clark. I work with the Office of Surface Mining, hydrologist with them. And uh, and to give you a general orientation, here's a ship rock where uh, where we're at today. And then there's a major feature is the, is the hog back. And then Farmington over here, and then the surface coal mine that we're talking about for this project today is uh, is on the eastern eastern side of the hogback. And then what this this is a really nice uh, poster to show. Um, what the geology is of, of the various units, so you can see the, oh, there's a little bit of shale in the, on the um, over overburden units, and then the, the black units here are coal. So there's multiple coal seams that are being mined, and any of the coal that's not being mined and any of the overburden will go will go back into this pit area. So to give you an orient, um, wherever they're mining, where the, any mine pit, um, it'll go back to. So to give you uh, once again a little more orientation, uh, here's the San Juan River up here. This would be Morgan Lake. The the um, the power plant is right here, and the hogback feature comes along here, and then Chaco Wash comes along this way. So mining has been progressing towards the south, and so here's a, a mine that where the where mining is, is occurring right now, and the project that we're uh, we're talking about today would be this this block right here and here's a little little blow up of this this block so mining is occurring in this area today if this project were to go forward then then mining would start in this yellow area in 2016 and progress this way and then this way and then all this colored area would be enough coal resource to to power the power plant until 2041 and there's okay, right? and so what's the color codes there? Sequencing and timing. So, um, so basically, it would it would start. This is just showing um, that that the yellow would go from 2016 to I'd have to I'd have to look at the legend. Uh, like I say, I kind of tried to put this together uh, uh, on the fly, so some of the print is very small. But uh, but it just shows that overall, wherever you see color, that's enough. That would be core resource that would be burned at the power plant from 2016 to 2041. And that's if there's five units right now, and that's if three of the units shut down and two of the units are still active. So this coal would just be powering those two units. So um, they're closing one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. So the amount of coal needed for only two. Or how much it's been totally reduced, right? That that's what it represents. Uh, so okay. all that color area right there would be, as, as you just indicated, unit, units one, two, and three would, would no longer exist. So that all that colored area would be coal that would go power those two units uh, to 2041. So okay, now could you talk about the hydrology as far as the movement? Mm -hmm. Like after you mine an area and re reclaim it, where is the water running? Yep. Very good questions. So generally, there's a, there's two different systems we look at. We look at a surface water system and a groundwater system, and we use groundwater wells to, to track the groundwater system, and we we'll use surface water uh, gauging stations to uh, to track surface water movement. And overall, my responsibility is to ensure that the existing and and foreseeable uses related to water quality and water quantity are, are maintained and protected. So we we track what it, what is the movement of underground water and the movement of surface water. Talking about groundwater, the movement of underground water, um, what we see is the, the general flow gradient is going to be from from the south to the north to the San Juan River. How, 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 what's the movement time from here to the river? It's very, very slow. And it's all going to be... To, to, roughly, roughly speaking, to, for, a, a, uh, for a drop of water, if it were wet, to move from here underground to the San Juan River would be about 200 years. From, from this point to this point, 200 years. Yes, and it's very slow. And it's all dependent on, on the gradient. So if it's flat, it's not move, it, won't, it won't move very slow. And it's, and the steeper the gradient is, the, the 
higher flow rate and, and movement potential there is. And in this area, that's what we track with the groundwater wells, is, is what are those water levels, what is that gradient. And we see that, that the gradient is very flat all along here, so that's what makes the, the, those travel times very, very slow. It, it doesn't look too flat here, actually. This is the geology, so, so we're talking, so this is uh, uh, the rock material, which would be different than, uh, than the actually water levels and, and uh, the, the gradient, what we call the, the measurement of the water table. Right. Okay, so since the mine started up in this area, do you have like geology maps? Is it like is there information on the geology before it was actually mined? Yes, yes, yes. There's a, there's a, the, the mine will drill uh, um, uh, exploration wells in the area to see where the coal is, how thick it is, how many seams there are. So yes, it's, it's all in the existing permit application. Oh, okay. So it, so it's an existing. Um, first the, application. The, exactly, exactly. Yes. So, you, so you do that with each movement then? You find out which way the water is moving? Exactly. And, uh, um, and the quality of water? And mm -hmm. the exactly. We monitor quality and quantity. Mm -hmm. So with this reclamation in this area, um, burying the coal combustion waste there, um, how often do you test the, the movement of what was in the waste moving towards the river? Yeah. We'll get a, um, a we'll, we'll, I don't know if you talked to me, sir. We get an annual uh, um, uh, monitoring report that has all the lab samples in it, the water levels in it, and all the geochemistry in it. So we, we get that annually to our office, and, and that would be public available if, uh, if you're ever interested. <laughs> so, could you talk about the right where the geology is now? You're how far are you? How far is it as far as digging? Are you down to this level? Nope. The orange level? Nope. Never. Never. Um, uh, it, it'll. It'll. It won't. They won't mine. Uh, um, it, they won't mine anything other than this one color right here. And this is a kind of a cartoon, not to scale, kind of schematic. Uh, um, but uh, they'll mine two about 200 feet deep to answer your question. Maybe up to about 220 feet, but but no more than that. Waterways. So where can we and get information so what, about water, um, the water table, water information, uh, is all to mine through this the hydrology area information? In the That's it. There, there's a report that we have on our, available on and our website, so area, if, uh, if you're familiar with our, our Western Region website, if you want, I can write down uh, the, the general and path of uh, 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 you know, the uh, string of, uh, of how you get to the OSM website and then how you can kind of route down uh, to, uh, to where a report is that captures all this water information. Water replacement. If uh, if somebody has a water tank that, that the mine is uh, is providing water to, I'm um, I know that there's a program available to provide water to uh, uh, to users in, in the area, um, but I'm not sure the frequency that occurs or the, or the quantity that occurs. I'm not, not sure about that. Good stuff.